today I'm going to show you some of the advancements that Leo Streams made in our integration with DCV. Now, for those of you who don't know, DCV is a high performance display protocol that's actually included with AWS EC2 instances. So it gives you a great way to leverage the cloud and Amazon in particular for not just high performance compute and graphics workloads, but really for any workload that you want to put up in the cloud and use a high performance display protocol for. So since it is a uh, AWS based protocol, you can use it on-prem anywhere else you want, but since it is AWS based, I'm going to do my demo out of AWS. So just to get you kind of grounded in what I have here, I've actually built a cluster. I've got two connection brokers running in AWS. Those are tucked into my VPC. So they have private IP addresses, but no public access. But then I also have a cluster of LeoStream gateways as well. So what the gateways are going to do is provide a way for me to access the connection broker so I can administer it and then also give users a way to access the connection broker for two things. One, so they can log in to the broker and then two, so they can connect to their DCV servers that are also hidden in that VPC. So you notice here I have a Windows DCV server. See, it has a private IP address, but no public address. I also have a Linux DCV server. We can do both Windows and Linux. Right now for Linux, it is console only. So we're working on multi-user, but right now it's console sessions for Linux and Windows. Windows only supports console anyway. So those are, uh, that's my environment. Here is the broker. Now you see this is actually uh, the DNS name for uh, an elastic load balancer in AWS. My two gateways are actually behind a load balancer. So it gives me some nice high availability. I'm signing in now just as the main administrator so you can see how the integration works. I'm not gonna step you through a full demo here. The key for the pieces that I'm using in this demo is first my center. Here I have an Amazon Web Services Center. This is hooked up to the US East data center. So it's pulling out all those machines that I showed you for my demo environment. I can also use that for provisioning and whatnot, but we'll, we'll, we'll do that in a different demo. So the center gives me my instances. And then the integration with DCV is done through the protocol plans. Now there are actually a number of different ways that we can launch these DCV connections. So let's step through that. We have what is called LeoStream Connect, that's our software client. I will show you that. Installs on Windows, Linux, and Mac. And for LeoStream Connect, what it does is it launches the DCV software client. So here I've set the DCV software client to one. And then this is essentially the content of the DCV file that would be used by LeoStream Connect to log in to the machine. Uh, right now it is, you notice we do pass username and password. Yeah, this is all encrypted going to LeoStream Connect and LeoStream Connect doesn't store that file anyway, anywhere. It'll use the file and delete it. So you don't worry about that. We are working on integration with the DCV external authenticator. That's actually coming in the upcoming release. So LeoStream Connect will launch the client-based DCV and that can either go direct to the desktop if you are on-prem and you just need to connect to your DCV server that's on-prem or it can go through a gateway. So that's either, in my case, I'm using the gateway because my desktops are tucked away in my VPC. So that's LeoStream Connect. The other way we integrate with LeoStream, with, sorry, with DCV is via our web client. And the web client can actually do two things. One, just like LeoStream Connect, you can download a DCV file to launch the DCV client. And again, that can or cannot go through the gateway. But what's actually new and interesting here is that we now have support for the HTML5 DCV viewer. And that as well can either go through the gateway or not through the gateway. So in my case, what I'm gonna show you is two things. I'm going to connect to the Linux machine using the HTML5 viewer and browser through the gateway. And then I will show you the LeoStream Connect client connecting client-based DCV to the Windows machine, again, through the gateway. So here is the web interface, obviously, again. Now I'm logging in as an end user. So if I sign in as Mabel, she's offered both DCV machines. I'm going to connect to the Linux machine. Now what's happening in the background is the LeoStream agent is actually going and creating the DCV session for Mabel. And then once the DCV session is created, I can actually go and log in as you see there. So there's my Linux machine in the back. So two things happen there. If I go back and look, I mentioned that the LeoStream agent created the DCV session for the user. 
the broker then also talked to the gateway and said, hey, I'm going to be sending a DCB connection through the gateway. And so the gateway opened it up an appropriate forwarding port in its firewall to forward the traffic through there. Similarly, through LeoStream Connect. In this case, now Milo's logging in, he's offered only that Windows desktop, so it's just going to go ahead and launch. Again, the LeoStream agent is creating the DCV session for the user. And then again, since we had the DCV file and the username and password embedded in it, now we got a nice single sign-on into the, into the Windows machine. And so now he's connected in there as well. Again, on the log page, you can see the LeoStream um, Leo doing its job and the agents, or sorry, the broker sending the gateway instructions to create the forwarding rule. Whenever you log out, the agent's going to tear down those sessions. And that way, the next user can actually log in to that machine. So the forwarding ports go away, so you have nice secure access again, and the DCV sessions will be gone. And that is the end of the demo on DCV. If you need more information, you can always contact LeoStream at sales at leostream.com.